Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. The many warnings Prince Harry got about Meghan Markle. Ever since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle tied the knot in May 2018, there have been rumors regarding potential rifts within the royal family. From speculation about Markle and Kate Middleton not getting along to a possible feud between Harry and his older brother, Prince William, the gossip has been constant. And just when fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex thought the rumor mill had reached its peak, the couple stepped down as senior members of the royal family and relocated from England to sunny Los Angeles, giving their sweet son, Archie, the chance to grow up in Meghan's native home. Of course makes it only intensified speculation about supposed discord between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the rest of the royals. Despite all the drama, Meghan and Harry have remained fairly mum amid the scrutiny, seemingly preferring to keep the focus on their beautiful family and their relationship. Although there is a good chance, Meghan and Harry are eager to leave the unflattering narratives about their relationship behind. Supposed insiders have continued to come forward with new allegations. Some of these claims involve the many warnings Prince Harry allegedly received about the suit's actress, which were outlined in Dylan Howard and Andy Tillett's book, Royals at War. The untold story of Harry and Meghan's shocking split with the House of Windsor. Intrigued Lit. Let's take a closer look at the new rumors clouding Harry and Meghan's relationship. Prince Harry ignored warnings about Meghan Markle. It's clear Prince Harry and Meghan Markle come from different worlds. She's an actor with humble beginnings while he was world, famous at birth and grew up in Kensington Palace. It's these differences that allegedly sparked red flags for Harry's family, including Prince William. Is she the right one? William supposedly asked his younger brother shortly after Harry started dating Meghan in 2016, per an exclusive excerpt from Royals at War. The untold story of Harry and Meghan's shocking split with the House of Windsor, obtained by LMT Channel. William's questioning supposedly set Harry off and made him more protective of his budding romance. As Dylan Howard and Andy Tillett claim in their book, Kate Middleton allegedly shared her husband's concerns. Howard writes in an exclusive preview shared with LMT Channel. She gently reminded him Harry that he was dating someone with a completely different life, past, and career, and it would take time, care, and attention for them to integrate. Although some might perceive the couple's warnings as intrusive, Tillett and Howard's conversations with sources suggest they were well, meaning, even if Harry didn't see it that way. An insider told Howard and Tillett, It's my opinion that Harry feels he couldn't protect his mother, so he's going all out to protect his wife. He is so sensitive, he often sees criticism or negativity where there isn't any. Howard and Tillett's Expose is set for a June 30, 2020 release. Another Analysis How Prince Harry has changed after his exit from the royal family? How has Prince Harry adjusted to his new chapter away from the royal family and living in Los Angeles? One royal expert believes Harry's body language is very revealing about his attitude about life now that he's out of the media spotlight. How Prince Harry has changed after his exit from the royal family. After Prince Harry and Meghan made their way to Los Angeles with son Archie, they weren't as visible as before. This has no doubt been an adjustment for the couple especially since the timing of their exit coincided with the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic. Despite not seeing the couple as much as in the past, body language expert Judy James shared during the pod, Save the Queen podcast, that there has been a big change in Harry since Meg's it. James said, adding, I love watching Harry because we will see him change. I think we're probably not seeing the metamorphosis quite as much as we would have done had we not had lockdown," she continued, 
because obviously he can't hit all the places one has to visit to be famous in Hollywood. But, even now, I've noticed, because he is clearly losing his hair, and it suddenly started to be a little bit whooshed upwards and things like that. James explained. His body language, he's always quite animated, but he's suddenly become quite teenager-ish with his body language. The hands are quite high, he rolls his eyes while he's speaking. I think he's getting that enthusiastic American teenager vibe that we maybe weren't seeing when he was being royal in the UK. Prince Harry has a new attitude. Is Prince Harry discovering a new side of himself, far from the royal spotlight? James believes he's definitely had a change in attitude. She shared during the podcast, I think we saw Harry change so much. I could always see the rift between him and William anyway, going back right to the first days of Harry's marriage and meeting Meghan. She continued, he went from being this Jack, the lad character, and we used to see him all the time with William, looking like a couple of jokers. If they turned up at weddings, oh here they come, what are they going to get up to? particularly Harry, she said. And then suddenly, and I think it could have been put down to the fact that he had got responsibilities in life at last, with a wife and then a child. But I think he was looking way too unhappy, way too serious, way too annoyed, really. I think that was his reaction when he tried to protect his wife. Clearly he had a very, very difficult decision to make. James pointed to the Sussexes' last appearance before their exit, where she noted there was a clear indication that Prince Harry was feeling the weight lifting from his shoulders. She explained, You suddenly saw Harry become animated and fun again. He was laughing and joking with the people on the way out. He was very tactile, and I think as he was walking towards the car, it was as though he wanted one last laugh and a bit of a joke. Thank you all for supporting us in all the videos on LMT channel. Your support is also a great motivation for the team to have more motivation to produce better and more attractive content. With the aim to send to you those who have the same passion and admiration for Prince Harry's family. And will not make you wait any longer. Now let's start the story. The truth about Lisa Minnelli and Prince Harry's friendship. Stop us if you've heard this one. Lisa Minnelli and Prince Harry walk into a bar. Okay, so that might not actually be a real joke, but if you go by an article published in June 2020 by The Sun, it's a scenario that could feasibly happen. According to the tabloid, Broadway and cinema icon, Minnelli has played a big part in helping the newly independent, former senior royal, find his feet as he gets acclimated to his new life in Los Angeles. Minnelli allegedly went so far as to reach out and offer support to the son of her good friend, the late Princess Diana. While the idea of Minnelli and Harry drinking martinis and singing along to their favorite show tunes at an old, fashioned piano bar might be the stuff that great fan fiction is made of, there is a good chance that it might be merely that fiction. So are Lisa Minnelli and Prince Harry actually bosom buddies in real life? Or is it just wishful thinking? Lisa Minnelli sets the record straight on Prince Harry. Though the notion that Prince Harry and Lisa Minnelli are new BFFs might be a lovely one, one of the two has gone public since the Sun's story first ran to set the record straight. Unfortunately, it was to reveal that the Duke of Sussex and the woman also known as Forlane Sally Bowles have never actually met. Soon after the rumor of a friendship between Harry and Minnelli began to make the rounds, the Academy Award, winning actress took to social media to deny the idea of any relationship between the two whatsoever. The living legend stated in a Facebook post on June 14, 2020, while I wish them well, I have never met Prince Harry and Meghan. Any statement to the contrary is a complete fabrication. 
though Harry has never actually met Sally, it is true that his mother, Princess Diana, and Minnelli were friends before the People's Princess tragically died in 1997, alongside her partner Dodi Thade and driver Henry Paul, in a fatal car crash, which resulted while attempting to outrun the paparazzi during a night out. Lisa Minnelli recalled her instinct to protect friend Princess Diana. The cabaret star has spoken out publicly about their friendship in the years following Princess Diana's passing, once recounting how the two first met. Lisa Minnelli recalled, I was first introduced to Diana when she came backstage after a concert I gave in London. She continued, then we bumped into each other at premieres or events where she'd be the guest of honor. We'd fall into conversation, then we'd meet for tea. My instinct was to protect her. We talked about everything under the sun. While Minnelli and Prince Harry might not be friends after all, the Duke of Sussex already has a good number of celebrity pals. Among Harry and wife Meghan Markle's social circle are David Beckham, Victoria Beckham, Elton John, James Corden, George Clooney, Oprah Winfrey, and Idris Elba, all of whom attended their royal wedding in May 2018. And considering that Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, has reportedly moved into the couple's Los Angeles manse. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.